Yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, I thought Lee hurt him in the, in the first round. Didn't have too bad of a second round. Um, and then got hit with a shot in the back of the head in the third and he really struggled to recover from it. It was something that I did speak to the uh, referee about um, before the fight started. It was a concern of mine. Everybody goes on about Warrington's head, but it was actually the back of the head shot, so it was my biggest concern. And I did speak to the referee about it before the fight. Lee struggled to recover from that. Um, but, I, uh, you know, I said before the fight, I can see it being a, a uh, fight of the year contender. Josh brings his volume, but Lee punches too hard for you to keep exchange, keep exchanging with. And uh, I've said it, I think people don't realise when I keep saying it. By far the hardest punch in the division. Think it was the right decision for the ref to be able to fight off? Yeah, like ov obviously they decide so not going to say that. I am going to say that. But when Josh got up like two minutes later off the stall, we were still unsteady. That's what I was going to ask, Ben. We've interviewed a few people and it seems 50 50 whether Josh should have been given just a minute. Your thoughts on that one? Yeah, like I thought I stopped Lee against Lara for, for less. Um, and that's how people get hurt. Uh, Lee's a devastating punch. I thought Josh was starting to fade as well, starting to tire. Um, and yeah, punch is too hard for you to keep exchanging like that with. That's one, Ben. Pat McCormick, our neck of the woods. We spoke to Eddie. Eddie said Lewis Ritson didn't want that fight. That would have been a corker, wouldn't it? That would have been. Uh, Pat special, and he's going to prove that. And uh, this is the first step of many. Another world champion on your hands? Without.